Hey guys, I'm Maximilian Anderson, and today I'm going to show you how to sync a song with a video. So many of you guys might be starting out recording covers with the camera and then using the internal microphone in that camera to capture the sound. And you're playing a song through a speaker system into the same microphone and it reduces the quality quite a lot. So many of you have been asking me, how do you add the song in post-production? So that's what I will be showing you today. I'll be using a Mac computer and maybe another time I'll do a video on a Windows-based computer as well, but for now it's a Mac. So, with all Macs you get iMovie for free, so let's use that to make it easy. So, start off by opening up iMovie. When we get in here, we'll create a new project, a movie with no theme. Alright, and we can call it Audio Video. And now we'll have to import the video. So I'll, this is the SD card that I use in my camera. Just go in here. I know that this is the cover. So I'll just put it in there and we'll have this little bar loading here, uh, but we can still process some things. So we have the video here. So what I usually end up doing first is zoom in a little bit. I know I don't really want the intro here. So, this is technically your video with the audio. Now we have to add the song. So what you do, you just find the song and you just drop it in here. So, I'll go to iTunes here. I'll go to this cover. Show in the finder. Close out of iTunes. And then just drag this song in here. So now the song and the video is in here very out of sync, not nice at all. So what we do is that we zoom in, I can extend this a little bit. So we zoom in and we see that this is where the audio really starts in this song. So we just try to line them up by dragging and dropping. And what you can do is put the play ahead here by the first, let's see, that's fully zoomed in, by the first transient, and then see that that's kind of where this is as well. You can see that I'm a little bit off here, uh, so I was probably early on the first hit, so I'll just move it back a little bit. So you see now they're lining up pretty well. Usually these the stronger transients are from drums. So you can see that they line up pretty well. That's going to be good enough. So what we can do here now is that we have this long intro of me just sitting around. So we can just cut that off a little bit. So now it should be pretty synced. So that's, that's actually everything you have to do in order to sync the audio with the video. Now you can, you can adjust the volumes here if you want either your drumming to be softer or louder. And same goes for the original song. But I'll just leave it like that for now. So what I would do then is just add a transition, maybe a fade to black in the intro. So that you get this, this small fade in effect. Maybe not that much. You can go to 0 0.05 seconds. Do whatever you want here. Uh, might go to title and just add whatever here, saying max a drums like that. And then you just got some kind of intro. And that's essentially everything you have to do. You can go to the end and say make sure. You're And maybe you don't want that in there as well. So just to make sure the video ends the way you want, maybe you want to cut that out. It's good to use the fade, the little fade tool just to make sure it doesn't clip. So you can use that and you just drag this here. And same, maybe we use a transition. We do the cross blur. We double click it, say two seconds. And then we just have some. And that's pretty much it. So what you do after that is just click share and then export the video. And now you have a video where you have the audio, the original song with your video. So that's essentially everything you have to do. So I hope that was helpful. I'll try to do one for Windows later on as well when I have a computer where I can access Windows and whatever free software I can do this in. I don't know if Windows Media Editor 
player, something like that could do this. Either way, thank you for watching. If this helped you, let me know, and I'll see you guys soon.